Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing the Sephora Play box for the month of November. It came a little earlier than it usually does. Um, you can tell by the title that it's not a very great box in my opinion, but I am eager to hear what you guys think about it because sometimes it's it's just from the perspective of the person that gets it, but a lot of other people think it might be a good box. So I would love to know after this what your thoughts are on this box. We're just going to jump into this box. The first thing... Oh, before we start, I will tell you, Sephora is a monthly subscription... Sephora Play is a monthly subscription box. And it typically... Mine doesn't come until more towards the end of the month. So I was excited to get it until I opened it up. And then I was like, me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm also kind of in a mood today, so you know. Maybe it's the sassy hair up. I don't know. So yeah, Sephora, it comes in this little Ziploc baggie, all the products. It used to come in like a more cloth bag that you could reuse, um, but I think there was a lot of complaining about those bags, so they just went to this plastic and it is recyclable now. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, five deluxe size samples. Sometimes there is an item from the Sephora collection and then there is only always a bonus item, which is usually a perfume sample or some kind of hair sample. So I'm gonna start with the lip product so that I can get it on my lips. The first thing we got in the box was a cream lip stain from the Sephora collection. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is next to my nose, so you can see how big it is. Uh, <laughs> I told you I was in a mood, guys. This one is in T, something T, pink T, and it is the Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick, a silky liquid lip stain in a nude pink shade with a matte finish. Okay, I actually love the color of this <laughs> a lot like I if it's comfortable I would repurchase it I like this color so much yeah I mean I like that you know the thing about Sephora lip products is I actually think they've got some good lip products their Sephora collection uh, what are they called oh, the lip stories I can't find mine I have it in tan lines. I love that lipstick and I actually want to get a couple new of those Lip Stories lipstick from their Sephora collection. But so that product is, I just lost it, it is $14 for 0.169 ounces. This is 0.04 ounces. So it is valued at $3.31. Before we go on, I do want to mention that this box typical value is between I don't think I've ever had anything less than $30 all the way up to like $40, $45. So you typically get a pretty good deal for the $10 that it costs each month. The next product that I got is a Clinique uh, Pep Start Eye Cream. This is it. Let's just show all these samples compared to my nose. So you can see how tiny they are this month. That might be part of, that might be part of my sassy attitude. <laughs> So this is um, lightweight eye cream that brightens and hydrates skin in an instant. I don't mind getting eye creams in sample boxes because I like trying out different eye creams. And these are great for traveling as well. Um, this is 0.5 ounces is the regular size for $26.50. This is 0.1 ounce, so $5.30 value. This is the highest priced item in my box <laughs> so and it's about half full <laughs> you guys get it together get it together all right so that is that product not unhappy about it I just think that it's super small next product I got is the Dr. Jart Ceramide Cream this is a rich moisturizer that improves the appearance of fine lines flakiness and tightness for smooth skin it is a $48 value for 1.69 ounces. This is 0.17 ounce, so it is a $4.83 value. Here it is. <laughs> very small. Very small. I mean, I'm not sad to try it, but could could it have been a little bigger? This is like one, one night of night cream. 
Then the next product we got, this video is going to be super short by the way, um, and the theme of this month is Marion by Bright, be prepared for every party this season with beauty that makes your days look, days and look full of cheer. All right, so getting ready for the party is this month's theme. The next thing we got is, the next thing I got, I should say, Sephora Play is a box similar to Birchbox and Ipsy where you could get all different kinds of products so everyone is not getting the same product like you are in the Macy's box um, and for the most part in the BoxyCharm box so you don't know what you're going to get in your box. I think only one or two times I've known ahead of time what I'm actually getting in my box and sometimes they give you a sneak peek of one product like the brand or something like that. Um, the next thing I got is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Finishing Powder. There it is. I mean, I have to keep doing it for every product now, right? So, this is supposed to shine a shine reducing finishing powder that blurs the look and it blurs the look of imperfections. All right, so I have actually used this before. I got a sample, I think when I made a purchase um, from Ulta, it was like one of their free samples, or from Ulta, from Sephora, it was one of their free samples that you could get with like a $35 purchase or something. And I didn't mind it. I used it for my under eyes and I think it works great. It's not my favorite setting powder by any means. The Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder, I think is what it called, it's called, is my favorite one. Um, but this one works well enough. And it's, I mean, I'll use it, I'll get use out of it. For 0.29 ounces, that's the full size, it's $36. This is 0 0.035 ounces, so it is $4 and 34 cent value. And the last thing we got is a Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. Prevents color fade, UV and pollution protection. So this is actually a really good travel size, I think, because um, I think you could get several uses out of that. So this is a leave-in conditioner for color treated hair. Um, and prevents brassiness. So I could use that because I like to keep my hair purple and silver. So the full size of this is 5.4 ounces for $30. This is 0.67 ounces. So it's $3.72 value. And that wraps up the box. For a round... <laughs> for a grand total of $21.50. Okay. That, I think, is like the overall disappointment is that the value of my box was so small this month and they were, I mean, the, the sizes were so tiny. I don't know. They're not horrible products and I'm not sad that I got most of them, but they are such tiny, tiny products. I mean, I paid... I paid half of what that box call costs, and I think in a subscription box, I should be getting at least three to four times the amount of what I pay for it. I think. For me. That's what I'm going to look for in a value, because with the products that I use that I love, I would pay less than $10 for this amount of products that are in these sizes. And honestly, most of the stuff I've tried or I already have something that I love in this kind of product. Obviously, I choose to get the Sephora Playback, so I know that that's always a chance, but I also am reviewing it for you to let you know if it's a good value or not. So that's kind of my thoughts on this box this month. It was not an exciting box to me by any means. I did get the Tory Burch Just Like Heaven so we're gonna smell it to see if it makes me gag or if I like it. A floral citrus mix. So usually I actually like those kinds of scents, but not that one. <laughs> Woo! No. It says it's got rhubarb, mandarin, hyacinth flower, and ylang lang. Is that what's called? Lang lang? Lang lang. Maybe that's what I'm smelling that I don't like. Usually I like a fruity floral scent, but no thanks. All right, guys, that is everything for the Sephora Play Box for November. So now that you've seen everything, let me know your thoughts on it. Did you think that this was a good value for the Sephora Play Box? You know, maybe I'm just looking at it through my 
Tasty Pants eyes that I have today. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm so grateful to have you here. Please subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up. Click your notifications bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.